Whew, it's so exciting, you know? It's got Dick Harold badges all over the card, a special Dick Harold stripe he painted down the side. barn fine car unit with like engine hoist and fan saws and fishing poles all all around the car that we had to move to get it out hey guys come on inside show you what we found here this is a 1969 dick harold copo camaro believed to be the only four-speed Dick Harold Camaro ever built. Dick Harold was really fond of the automatic transmission with the high stall speed converters. So he ordered automatics because they were actually faster in drag racing. Name is Gary Stedman. Uh, my, my older brother Joe had the car up until his passing in 1977. It was completely original, except the motor had been overhauled in it. It's numbered match and car. It does have original paint on it. Like I said, it's weathering. But uh, David Bean's got it looking really good. And it's like getting rid part of my family, so I held on to it. And the original owners, a couple that had it before him, their last name was Richardson. Her name was Shirley Richardson. I can't remember the the man's name. I wasn't gonna be able to finish it in the fashion that I wanted to, and I thought it's best to let somebody have it and do something with it, rather than let it sit and just go to waste anymore. It needed a lot of love, man, to tell you the truth, but it's it's a really nice car to be 50 years it's old. It's pretty old and crusty, but it's still a very original car. It's got the old Dick Harold sticker still on it. There's another one here. This is a really cool one here I like. When I first seen this car, it was featured in Muscle Car Review Magazine two or three years ago. And I couldn't believe my eyes when this thing showed up in the magazine. There's a little picture of the trim tag. First week of June, it says on the trim tag, but actually in June, they never made another date on the trim tag. They're all 6A cars. We already had the NCRS send us the paperwork on this car and it was actually built June 29th, I believe. Original old clutch fan. The prior owner said that Dick Harold installed this chain himself. Pull that air cleaner off. This is the original carburetor that came with the car. You can see the GE code for the 396, 375 horse or the 427, 425 horse. The bottom numbers are the 944. That's the ninth year, fourth month, fourth week. I was pretty surprised and that was still on there since they had been racing it so much. This is a cool cam that they would have had back then. 
You'd filled this with ice. People still use these today. Put your icy water in there. It helps cool the charge of the fuel going into the motor. Just the cool take care of badges. We were told by the owner, he says his brother had worked for Dick Harold, and when this car was traded in by the original owner, his brother had quickly scooped up the car. And we were told that um, these stripes, when they painted them on back then, they had a magnet template that they would hold up, and they'd stick to the car, and then they would just spray the black inside of there. This is the only 69 Dick Harold car that I've seen. It has this stripe on it. This is also the only four-speed Dick Harold car that I've been able to find. I'm not an expert on these cars. I've just done my research prior to buying it and since buying it. I'm a general Camaro guy, but I'm not a Dick Harold Camaro expert by no means. Bill Allen Chevrolet was down the street from Dick Harold's performance shop. Bill Allen and Fred Gibbs both did stuff with Dick Harold. This car was delivered to Bill Allen. We do have the receipt from when he bought it through Bill Allen. This is some of the stuff that we found in the car. This old radio amp was in there. And these are the old original spark plugs that we took out of the engine. The spare. Little mouse nest up in there. Overall, the car's in pretty incredible shape for being in a humid environment all of its life. Here's the bottom of the car, guys. It's actually in decent shape. You'd think it'd be more rusty than this from back east. The dry shaft's pretty horrible looking, but the floors are actually pretty nice. The exhaust is completely rusted. This piece is rusted clear into. And these cool little traction bars. Car actually still has the original front shocks on it. I've been approached, oh man, I don't know how many times by people that they were, they were more or less thinking I should give it to them for nothing, you know, and David David knows what they're what they're worth, and he he made me an offer, and I took it. He does he does fine work too, man. I will tell you that. I went to a good guy too. I think quite a bit of him. It was in Odessa, Missouri, and it was in a storage unit. And I um, talked to the guy, sent him jokes, bullshitted with him for three years. Finally went out there and just couldn't believe how original the car was, you know.